see a meeting? Ready. It's 10 o'clock. I'll call this meeting to order. Roll call. Here. Here. Item number three is the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four is to recognize guests. I want to thank everybody for being here. I'd like to sign in. Seats already been around. And, uh, item number five is new business. Sheriff, you want to start us off? I can. Um, extremely busy. Um, two chases last week. Um, stolen property. We've, we've solved a couple more stolen property cases waiting on warrants for several more individuals um, that we've identified in those um, burglaries. U.S. Marshals came down twice last week to help us catch a couple guys that we were having trouble because of the resources and manpower. The jail side of things, um, it's running pretty pretty efficiently. Um, we figured out what the problem was with the stove that we had. Um, we ordered some parts or in the process of ordering those parts. We have a trustee that actually had some expertise in that field and um, he's actually identified where the gas was coming from around the knobs the, the the valves on the front of the stove that turned the gas on and off are basically their brass fittings and where those fittings connected together had wore out so it's two screws you reconnect it put new seals so we've ordered new new valves for the the whole yeah for the whole stove so hopefully that will be um that'll be done in the next week or so um i know we're not to item 12 yet but i want to discuss that under new business real quick we can it's for a 2016 or newer fleet suv fully equipped kansas highway patrol called me last tuesday they have a 2017 chevrolet tahoe 48,000 miles four-wheel drive police package um for 30,000, 31,000 and some change, 32,000, I think it's 31,000 and some change for the vehicle, and then a thousand dollars for the light kit. Um, made some phone calls, called Dunn Country, called um, Hudeberg. That vehicle alone by itself is about a $38,000 vehicle, the way it's set. And then you add the $4,500 to $5,000 with the lights and push bumper and different things. So it's it's a it's a savings for the county so we're gonna we need one more vehicle um, to get us through we hope for the next two years so we're hoping um, that would actually um, go into the fleet the silver Dodge Charger that the sheriff's office is paying for is going to go into a transport vehicle for the jail um, we'll continue to pay for it but we're going to utilize that because we're doing so many transports that fuel is killing us so we're going to put that, that charger in a transport vehicle slot to help us. Um, it's got 73,000 miles on it. As long as we service it, it should have another 100,000 miles left in it, just going up and down the highway for transport. So that's our plan. So that's why number 12 is on there. Other than that, everything is everything's rocking and rolling pretty smoothly. Have you took this before the jail board yet? Took what before the jail board? This vehicle purchase. That vehicle purchases through the sheriff's office. It doesn't have to. From the SO? Yeah, I'm yeah. paying. That, that's something that I pay for. I'm paying for the sheriff's office. I'm paying for the jail's vehicle. Um, so I'm, I'm just paying for it because there's no money on the other side. So I'm eating that. I'm eating that loss. Aaron, did you have any? No, we're just, it's. Weather's been so rough trying to get the guys out working, um, especially when it's so muddy the way it is. It's pretty hard to get those guys out working, and we're still trying to figure out which trustee is going to work. You know, I told you last couple weeks we're in a probationary term, and we've had a little turnover um, with our trustees. So, <laughs> so uh, we're we're still a little short-handed uh, as of this morning. A little short-handed on on those guys, and um, trying to get 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 a good crew put together. We're still kind of working on that. So. We're, we're on pause getting good guys out there right now. So, And speaking of that, we, we've locked two down this morning. Um, 
finding trying to find trustees that will work and abide by abide by the rules is very difficult. We've we've been very fortunate in the last year and a half, two mm -hmm. years, and we've got a rough crew right now. And the crew that we have is not all of the trustees that we've had in the past have all went to prison um, or got out and are doing good. So we're I mean we we don't have a good five solid trustees right now. So. That's why our road crew and everything yeah. is kind of down at the moment. And the way that the, the numbers work on that, we usually will have five trustees, and <coughs> two always stay back to help run the jail, mm -hmm. cook meals, prep meals, things like that, and then that leaves me three to take out um, and work. And when <coughs> we don't have those numbers, it makes it very difficult for me to take anybody out. Um, one more thing, we've got DNR coming out this afternoon to assess our uh, Sally Port lights. They're rough coming you know coming on not staying on um one working ever so often then some of them not even work we had guys unloading prisoners the other night with no no lights came on in the sally port so we've got dnr coming out this <laughs> afternoon to assess and figure out what's going on with our lights there two caught fire we can look up there two have caught fire so um the two as you come in so we don't know why they caught fire that we don't know when that happened because the lights in the south port have not worked in the last several years yeah. off and on so we do know that two of them i discussed this a little bit earlier with aaron uh, you could buy some new bay lights for about 100 less than 150 dollars a piece to metal highlight turn them on leave them on shut them off during the day uh, you would not want to use a motion sensor because they takes a little off from the cook up but they're real reliable and put out a lot of light and I've looked at those fixtures up there, and they you do not need to spend another penny on those old antiquated fixtures. They're just they're they're too hot, and uh, they're not really designed to stand as much heat as there is. I, I see them. That's where the problem is. Uh, but these bay lights are metal, and they will take the heat. Gotcha. And they're available on every website. Where you can go. Yeah. For six hundred dollars, you can replace. All we need. Put four in there and it will light that whole place up. Talk to the window guy this morning. He'll be here Wednesday morning. Start putting the windows in upstairs. Oh. And he's going to need some help to wreck those frames out. So, the, old, the frames are left in that the plywood screwed to. How many do you think you will run I had just a couple guys. A couple? Just some animal stuff, chiseling up some of that out. Okay. Do you have anything, Sandy? Yes. Uh, we got, uh, I'm disgusted. We've been asked if we want an ATM machine in our courthouse. Uh, that way, if anyone needs to use the ATM machine, um, Clark had, had been working on this. Tim, what we would like to know is where we could put it on the first floor, to where there would be a camera that would shoot on it. Um, if you could kind of fill us in later on that and look at that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it needs to be, you know, I'm probably on the first floor, probably had more room than on the second floor. But anyway, that's one thing that, uh, it, that we've got. Uh, our insurance for District 1, 2, and 3, I have um, broke it down. Here's a copy. And uh, our next payment is at the end of this month in January. <coughs> and we can, I don't know, I, we can make uh, it's $18,045.66. If we pay the first half, it's $9,022.83. And then we divide the rest of it by five, that would give us the back $1,800 a month till the end of June. So uh, we're going to put this on the agenda for next week. So if we kind of look and see where we need to get this done and paid in. Okay. Out of the district, districts one, two, and three. No, this is the $1,800 we've talked about. Well, that's $1,800 a month. If we want to do it that way between now and the end of June, so we won't have to, you know, that way we'd be putting it back every month. Uh, we'll be taking it out as a lump sum the first the first half. So 
and that will make it up uh, fifty-four thousand one hundred thirty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Mm -hmm. So, and the reason for that was was that the uh, commissioners decided mm -hmm. to uh, start suffering that payments that were coming mm -hmm. out of the general, yes. so that that money could come out of the general and be applied to the junior bond debt. Yes. Okay, and then uh, Karen and I have talked about the transfer station lease, lease which we'd be coming up next month in the EMS also. So we will need, I'll get with Hearing Shaw between now and then to see what month, that, I mean, what week we want him to come, and then we'll do the contract um, for Patrick's for next month. And that's, I think that's about all I've got. Okay. Did you have something wrong with the No business? Did you have no. anything? No, thanks. We'll I think we got on. that last week. I think we'll get the, y'all got for bids. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get going out for our Yes, it did was. Did y'all do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that. We'll move on then to item number six, discuss and consider electing a chair I make a motion that we Clark be our uh, 2019 chairman. I make a motion. I make a motion to Billy Dawson. Same thing? Yes. Billy Dawson. Yes. Clark, yes. Item number seven, discuss and consider electing co-chairman. And I'll nominate Sandra Zachary to be co-chairman. A second. Yes. Yes. Same thing. Yes. Item number eight, approve commissioner's proceedings from previous meetings. been made by Sandra and second by Billy Dawn to approve the Yes. Billy Dawn. Yes. Yes. Item number nine is approved blanket POs and this week we have one for two thousand dollars to stick to stone for district two. We have one for eight hundred dollars to stick your home center out of JJF two. Huh? <coughs> How much was it, Clark? Eight hundred. We have one for six hundred dollars to Fleet Corps out of SJF two. We have one for sixteen hundred dollars to Performance Foods out of SCA two. We have one, another one to flick for for a thousand dollars out of SSF two. We have one for eight hundred dollars to O'Reilly's out of SSF two. And that's this week's blanket PO. I make a motion on number nine. I'll second. Same exactly. Yes. 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 Item number 10, discuss, consider signing engagement letter from State Officer's Office for District 3. This was an exit audit for Paul going out. The new commissioner coming in. I'll make a motion that we sign this. I second it. Second. Yes. Same as Yes. Same as Yes. Out of number 11. Discuss and consider approving December monthly report for Health Department <coughs> and Clerk Assessor's Office.
Hey, item number 12, discuss consider going out for a 2016 renewal fleet SUV for this fifth also for purchase and finance for the sheriff's department. And this is, Tim's already kind of explained this a little while ago, so I'm going to go ahead and make this motion. Item number 13 discussed dates for quarterly FEMA meetings in 2019 for county commissioners. What this, go ahead. Go ahead. What this is is that we had our audit uh, FEMA meetings weren't being done and so when it was, he asked when the first year came that we put this on our new calendars. We do have the new calendars up for each, as far as I know, every one of them are up for the year. Um, we do have elected official meetings, which is the last Thursday of each month. We can have it before or after. That way, it can be posted each month, each the quarter, quarterly. Quarterly. I'm sorry. But I mean, these are some of them are for quarterly, some of them are for every month. So uh, I make a motion that we have it on the third, third last Thursday of the month at 9:30. Second. Do it on second. Yes. And also we'll get out um, all of the uh, times on the schedules of the meetings that may be the first of next week before I get them handed out. Okay. Item number 14, sign appropriations, transfer of appropriations, check received POs. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make this motion on 14. Second. Second. Thank you. 
this. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have that. Yeah. I'm sorry. But that I looked up and seen it now. Yes. <laughs> Took me about a year to figure it out. <laughs> it's all right. much cheaper.
Business will move on to item 15 and that's to adjourn. I make a motion. A second. Yes. 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 Y